Okay, so t today's the next day from getting my uh, cottonwood bark adventure. The dinosaur cottonwood bark. Look at the size of this stuff, guys. So now, hi Scott. Hey, how are you, man? Good. Now I got to clean up all this crap from the back. I'm at my carving station, guys. I got to clean up all this stuff so before I take it home, put it in my back shed. Oh boy. Okay, so. I got my uh, jaw horse here. Super good to have one of these guys. Um, I'll be putting this stuff in the jaw horse. And I got an electric planer here. This is a curved one. It's got a curved bottom. But whatever, it will work. And we'll try it with that first. And then maybe I'll, I don't know, we'll see. Let's just, uh, this is going to be a quick video. Okay guys, so you can see, look at this piece here. Oh, I know I got a tape measure here, but look at it, it's beautiful bark. No chips or no uh, shaling here. Just really beautiful stuff. So I think I'm going to clean it all up with my chainsaw. Okay, you guys can see it was a lot easier using my chainsaw. So, I'm grading this bark, okay? So this, this stuff has a little couple worm holes in it. Nothing to it, not a big deal, see? Like one, two, three, maybe four worm holes on this thing, or bug holes. So this goes down in the, this pile. But look at this stuff. <laughs> this is, this is a dinosaur bark, this stuff right here. <laughs> yep. Oh boy. Oh boy. You know, you guys will say, look at all that cottonwood bark. Look at all that cottonwood bark. Oh yeah, here's my uh, A grade pile. Right here, yep. And this is my, uh, well, A grade, but B grade pile. Look at the stuff, size of this stuff, guys. A grade, B grade. But it's a lot of freaking work. Now I still gotta blow all this stuff off. Clean out the back of my truck, pull that tarp out, put the tarp back in, put all the stuff back in my car, take it home and put it into my shed out back. So like, Pieces like this with all the bug holes in it, it's not worth it for me to take. Actually, that's a nice piece. So this box here will be the box for like a uh, skipper. It's the, some, some of the stuff has uh, odd bug holes, but there's no bug holes in that piece. Look at this monster. I think this one's for Ben's studio on the lake. Can't send any across the line with bug holes. So anyways, yeah, so it's a lot of work and I still gotta clean up this area out here, blow all the crap away, rake it and, so it's a lot of freaking work guys. You know, it's not, it's, yeah, free wood's the best wood, but sometimes. See, that's got a crack in it in the center, no good. Anyways, I'll just keep working here. Okay, so the A grade's cleared off. It's in the car. So let's just, uh, oh, oh, A grade cottonwood bark. Oh, I love you. Let's just kind of wrap this up. Let's just make you nice and, nice and safe there. Yeah, and we can put the B grade stuff here, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to, 
Come and breathe some fresh air. And say to hi to all your pigeon friends. Hi guys. Pretty tame birds. This is how close I am to them. Nice colors on them. I've never really been so close to pigeons before. This is the Fraser River too. It's a place in my uh, town called Wellington Point. That's a fish hatchery, an old ferry there. That's the island where people like to go party called uh, Gilligan's Island right there. It's all like a sand beach in there, in, in that area there. But yeah, just came out for some fresh air. That's all. Boat launch. Okay, bye. Wish these people would hurry up and come pick up their pumpkins. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Oh. All nice and cleaned. I like to clean my bark, guys, because then you can figure out what has bug holes and what doesn't have bug holes, right? So you don't want bug hole stuff sitting around your house. So I'll move all this stuff. Oh, look at this. Look at this bark. I'll move it all around back. Oh yeah, what's that, Jordy? We got some prawns. We got some halibut. We got some smoked salmon. Oh yeah. And we got some sockeye salmon. Trade your, trade your pumpkins for seafood, guys. It works. Okay, bye.